I'm live now, right? Okay. Hello, everyone. This is Grandmaster Lim Le. Today, I am playing the Band of Disc Cup Qualifier B with Fidel Master uh, from Poland. So, the first game, I'm white. Let's go. Oh, I know why I couldn't hear you because I forgot to turn up to turn on my my speaker. Okay, now I have the sound now. Thank you. Okay, so this is uh, the Nandan system. So position is supposed to be equal, but the knight on a6 is a little bit misplaced. So I hope that I can do something about that knight. So White's idea here is to castle and play c4 and open up the queen side of the center. Okay, I should go back to h2, I guess. Now the knight on e6 is not really that useful. f5 is logical follow up. So he wants to play f4. So should I be worried about that or F4, I don't know, F4, I don't think I should be too worried about that. So I'm just gonna castle F4, maybe time to play C4. Yeah, let's go C4. Or maybe let's go Bishop E3, just keep it simple. And then queen e2 if necessary. I think the position is uh, objectively equal, but practically it could be a little bit easier to play for white. Question now is, uh, is black gonna play knight g5? Okay, I'm gonna go queen e2 defending my pawn, queen e3. And then 
maybe 95 next. It's not really much here. Although he always has to think about whether allowing me to click on E4 is good for him. Let's say he play a move like Bishop D7, then I could be happy to take an E4 and go 92. Okay, so with 96, he has the knight F5 idea. All right, but knight F5, I can go E4, so that's not a big deal. Let me just put the rook on E1 and prepare for E4. Now, is E4 a good move? E4, he has, um, E4, he may have some knight f4, so I decided to go knight e5. Okay, trade the rooks, that's okay. Now my bishop, sorry, my knight is a little bit not great, so I'm thinking to bring the knight back to b2, b1 or c2. I can also go e4. Okay, I'll go nice two. I'll go nice two. Knight g5, I go bishop f4, so pin that knight and threaten h4 now. Okay, now I can take the bishop, or I should take the knight first. I can take the bishop, play e4, or I take the knight and then take the bishop and play e4. Okay, what to do here? Hmm, interesting. I think I will take a bishop and then go e4. Now I should be slightly better. Be bishop e4, and then queen e4. The knight's coming to e3. Pretty good position for white. Okay, so he has the trick of knight g3. I should take that knight, I guess. So then trade the knight here. Knight g3, I have queen c4, so that's not good for him. Bishop e7, I didn't expect that move. What if I give a check here? Where is he going? E6, I just take f5 and rook f5. This is winning for white. King h8, knight f7 is winning. King g7, queen f7 should be winning too. King g7, queen f7, king h8, and something. I don't know what, but it should be something. Okay. Check here. Now I have queen f5 at least. Do I have something better? Probably. Why not? Let me take this knight. Hmm. I have queen f5, knight f7. But I want more, so let me take that and go maybe g4. Bishop e4 is on the move. Then I want to go maybe queen e6. Could be, queen e6 could be strong. Threatening knight f7, winning the queen. And now just take e7, threatening rook f8. Now knight f7 should be enough. Rook f7 is also good. Let's go rook f7 and checkmate. Okay, plus one for me, that's good. So let's go to the second game. Okay, now I'm black. Right, 
Let's go with this move. Very solid. Very solid. Nothing crazy. Okay, go back. Here. Trade the queens. Very simple. Really nothing much here. Should be right equal. Okay, can I go bishop b4? Yeah, why not? Let's go bishop b4 and create the positional threat of taking on c3. Now I should cast along. Let's go back. It's okay for black here. Black is very solid. If white a span would be four, then I go ninety six, and the pawn c four is weak. Bishop e three is more logical. I can go ninety six, and then he has b three. Then do I have? Hmm. Maybe I can go bishop c five too, but I'll go ninety six. Seems simple enough. Knight e five, I go knight f d seven. Not a big deal. Or maybe I can trade the rooks first and then. Now, if I take a3, rook a1, bishop b2, rook a7. Okay, let's trade the rooks. Keep everything simple. Let's not allow him any chance for complications. A4 is only good move now. And then I'm thinking 97. Which knight? I'm not so sure yet. Probably knight F. Okay, that's a solid move. Let's go back here. Preparing for knight C5 maybe. Black is absolutely fine here. Bishop g6, bishop c2 is also an option. It may look like white has more space, but the more he stands, the weaker his position becomes. And I can attack those pawns pretty easily with knight c5, bishop g6, bishop c2. So in my opinion, white is already slightly worse here. Maybe white has to play very accurately to equalize. All right. So if I go nine c5 now before, yeah, let's go nine c5. Or should I? Okay, let's go nine c5. And then let's go a5. Stop before. Before I'm gonna take and go knight a6. The pawn is weak. Okay, so let's go back here. Maybe let's bring the knights back. And then I can play bishop g6, bishop c2. The pawn is still not great. He can play b4, then I take a b, a b, knight e7, or knight e6. Then it has to play b5. Okay, let's put here. Oh, but my pawn on a5 may be a problem, so I have to trade bishops. Hmm. Okay, let's trade the bishops. This is still right equal. He can play b4, I take. I go to a6. Trade everything. Okay, okay. So he wants to trap my bishop there. Should I go f5? Probably, why not? Gf, ef, e5, I can go 93. So it's not great for white. Okay. Then I still go f4 here, and 
try to get my bishop to c2. Okay, b4. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Let's take that on. Let's go here. Should we give a check on b3? Probably not. Probably not. Let's go. Let's go right here, maybe. Centralizing my pieces and threatening some nice C2. Now he doesn't really have a good move. Bishop e4 is okay, but I'm just centralizing my king. I think I'm all right here. Okay. I'll take that. Now I can go knight e6, try to win that pawn. Or I can go bishop g6 and try to win the pawn endgame. So I have some options here. What do I want to do? Knight e6 is okay. Knight e4, I go bishop f3. Knight c5, I can take g5. Okay, I can take b5 now maybe. I'll take b5 and play b6. And then I should be much better. I can take on e4 next move, and then take the pawn on g5. Okay, let's take g5 now. Let's take that. All right, let's move the king here. Closer to this b pawn, I'm going to try to win that. Okay, let's kick his knight away. Okay, this is winning for black now. Uh, let's go here, keeping things simple. Okay, let's go here. Snake, check, win the bishop. Pass over. Okay, 2 0. Let's go for the third one. Sure. Okay, let me know when I can start. So we are back now. Uh, this is the third game. I have white. The game is currently stopped. So I guess we are waiting for my opponent.
Okay, so we start the third game. I am two points. I have a two points lead. Okay, so he changed his opening. Okay. This is still my prep here. So nothing too new yet. Okay, this line is slightly, slightly better for white. Maybe not too much, but still. What should I do now? Queen e2, e3. Let's go queen b3. Looks logical. Queen b6, I guess. Then I'll go b3. I'll go b3, and then put bishop e2, rook a1. White should be slightly better again. Okay, trade the bishops. Uh, yeah, that's fine for me. Hmm, EF, interesting. Okay, let's go here. Let's go here. F4, I'm threatening F4. Kick his knights back and then put my knights on C4. Everything is going great for me. What can he do here? I'm not so sure. Ninety-seven, f four, ninety-seven, ninety-four is winning for white. Yeah, still go f four. Okay, win d four, and then ninety-two, win on. E3, nice e1. The pawn is gone. There's no way to keep it. Okay. All right. What to do now? Perhaps nice e4, trying to attack that pawn. Group a1, trying to attack the a6 pawn. They can go to e8, but then I just take a6. So time to activate my king. Okay, he's giving me another pawn. But I don't want to give up the a2 pawn, so I, I should go to a2 then. Okay, now I take that pawn. Okay, okay. EF, I guess. Okay, let's take that pawn. Now let's go. What should I do? Group A5 seems like a very strong move. Knight f6, then maybe I go hmm, what should I do here? Rook c5, rook d8, rook c6. Hmm. Not a big fan of that. No, because that's a blender. So what should I do here? C3, C4, let's just go knight E5 here. Go after his pawn. I don't need to keep too many pawns for myself. I just get that F7 pawn. Okay, should I keep the B pawn? Definitely, why not? 
I didn't need to, but why not? All right, let's go back here. Okay, another pawn. Can I take it? Can I? Mm. Oh, okay, why not? Let's go here. Knight f5, king d3, rook c2, rook a7. Should be winning totally. The only thing is be careful with his tricks with the knight, but I don't think there is anything for that now. So I can just take another pawn. Okay, let's go king here. Tap the knight. Black is completely lost now. Knight e3, then I can go knight e7. Yeah, let's keep things simple, knight e7. Okay, can I go king f5? Okay, I'll just keep my pawn. I don't want him to have any counterplay at all. Let's go here. Let's go here. Okay, this is checkmate. No, maybe not, but I'm winning the now. Okay, 3-0. Good game. Okay, now we are to the game four. Okay, I'm black now. Let's go with knight f6 here. So this is the Chomposki. I have, haven't played for a very long time. What am I supposed to do here? d5, I guess, is the move. A5. Okay, so he's sacrificing a pawn. I mean, he's giving back the pawn. Let's take it. Okay. What should I do now? It's just castle here, I guess. Do I need to defend the knight? Probably not. I can give him that pawn. I don't need it. Okay. Let's hit that pawn. On C2. So if okay, ninety two, very logical. Now should I go queen c seven? Probably. And prepare for ninety seven. Black is already very comfortable here. Okay, let's go back. The king size is safe. H4, I can go H6 probably. Yeah, I don't like H5. I think H6 is safe. Okay. 
and then 97 is coming c5 pawn might be lost and then everything will fall into place for me okay interesting move i should not allow him to trade my bishops so let's go e4 but then the other bishop is kind of bad yeah. it's a trade-off i have to make hmm. not that great my position is not that great as I thought. Okay, let's just go here. Knight b3. What am I going to do after knight b3? Let's go to c8. Okay, let me go b6. b6. Okay, let's just go to c8. Capture the pawn and then Trying to win the pawn with bishop f8, bishop c5. But maybe it's not that great. Hmm. I think I make a small mistake. Yeah, definitely. I shouldn't have allowed that. Maybe rook b8 was better, but it's okay. I'm still fine here. Bishop e2, I didn't expect that move. Why bishop e2? Okay, I'm gonna go b6. Cb, I go queen c3. Oh, ah. Oh. I don't know, maybe queen c3, knight d2. Um, snap for white to castle. I guess I can do that. Yeah, I guess I can do that. 92, I can go. Bishop f8 is an option. Bishop f8 is an option. Queen c2 is probably fine too. So let's go queen c2. Queen c2, b7. I'm sure I should be fine here. Queen C1, F, and then uh, B8. Okay, I can go back with C7 and then take the pawn. I'll uh, certainly give a check on d3 first. Mm, I'm gonna go back. And then take the pawn. Okay. Let's go f5. f4. Trying to fix my pawn structure. Knight f5, I did not expect that move. Hmm. Okay, I guess I'll go here. I don't know. I can take fe, probably. Let's take fe. And then maybe go on c4. Okay, I can take this pawn now. This should be winning for black. Should have five now. Should have five, knight e3. Yeah, this is over, b2. Wow, 
quite is lost. Okay, good game. Okay, so four zero. So last, hopefully, last game here. If I win. Okay, let's go. So he doesn't believe that this opening is bad. Okay, so he wants to repeat it. I'm happy to do so. Okay. Let's go here. Let's bring the knights back, I guess. Actually, maybe rook e1 would have been better, but it's okay. I want to get my knight to c4. Okay, let's go to A4 maybe. Okay, should I trade that bishop? Should I trade that knight? Sorry. I don't know. Okay, I'll do it. I guess I can go F4, E5. Okay, I'll go F4, E5. My knights are very good. He doesn't have a clear plan on the queen side. Prophetic king is still not allowing any tactics here. Now maybe e5 is a good moment to do that. I really like my position already. Okay. Logical, maybe rook e1. Yeah, rook e1 looks fine. Let's go rook e1. Oh, oh no, no. What is that? Oh, come on. How could I blend a rook like that? Oh, what a horrible move. Okay, so. I have to resign now, then try it again this round. Okay, so round six. So the score is 4-1. Four, 4-1, one. Four, one. and now this is round six. Okay. Okay, it's like, let's go for this C5. It's a complicated line. E5 is supposed to be the best move here, I think. Mm. I think so. E2 and then B takes C4, I guess, is the move. Maybe not. I don't know. I have no idea what to do here. So let's just play chess.
position looks normal. Let's go C4 here. Try to get my knight to B3. Okay, logical move. Should I go G6? Probably I have to kick that knight out. Mm. Yeah, I don't feel confident leaving that knight too close to my king. So I need to kick it out. And then probably rook c8. Uh, let's go knight b6. Let's go knight b6. I assume my position is not that great, but it shouldn't be too bad either. Okay, bring my knight to b3. I think it should be slightly better for white, but the position is still fine. Just go h5, kick the knight away. Okay, where is the knight nice going? Hmm, interesting. Really interesting. Okay, I guess I have to activate my knight. So, bishop e3. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. So I can take b2, queen c2, knight back to b3. But let's go knight f4. Looks like I trapped the knight here. Actually, I should have taken his knight first, but I think it's winning for black. Should still be winning here. Yeah, the knight is lost. Okay, what is this? I'll take that. Maybe I'll take the other knight first. Because this knight is not going anywhere. Okay. Should be winning. Let's play positional chess, bring the knight to e5. And not allowing anything. Okay, bring the knight there. Go queen g5. Okay. Strip all rooks. Triple my pieces on the G5. Yeah, it should be over.
So I would say it was relatively smooth today, except that big blunder in game five. Okay, what is he gonna do here? Let's make sure that I don't blunder something again. Okay, let's just trade the queens. Keep everything simple. Okay, so that's 5-1, and I think it's over. Can you please confirm? So, is the match finished? I have won, right? Okay, right. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. I think it was a very interesting match. My opponents didn't really play so well. He made a lot of questionable moves in the openings and middle games. And I just took my chances and played well. So I look forward to the second round. I don't know who that will be. I think it's Santos. I saw he's, he won the previous match. So it's going to be tomorrow. And I'll see you guys there. Thank you all for following me today.